In this tutorial, I will explain what AERP and ARP are. The effective isotropic radiated power, or AERP, is the total power radiated by a hypothetical isotropic antenna in a single direction. The AERP is the transmission power plus the antenna gain minus the cable loss, and the value is expressed in the unit dBm. We only focus on these three values. We don't use these values if we calculate the AERP. If we calculate the AERP, the antenna gain must be expressed in the unit dBi. In this example, the AERP is 20 minus 5 is minus 15, plus 10 is 25 dBm. The effective radiated power, or ARP, is a total power radiated by an actual antenna relative to a half-wave dipole rather than a theoretical isotropic antenna. If we want to calculate the ARP value, then we only focus on these three values. Is the transmission power, the antenna gain, and the cable loss? Please note, if we want to calculate the ARP value, the antenna gain must be expressed by the unit dBd. In this example, the ARP value is 20 plus 7.85 minus 5 equals 22.85 dBm. This is the equation to calculate the AERP value, and this is the equation to calculate the ARP value. Both equations are the same, with the exception of the antenna gains. This antenna gain must be expressed in the unit dBi, and this antenna gain must be expressed in the unit dBd. The relationship between AERP and ARP can be expressed by this equation. So what is the purpose of ERP and AERP? Radio frequency transmitting systems must adhere to certain rules set by regulatory bodies such as FCC or ETSI. One of these rules are radio devices must not exceed certain ERP or EIRP values set by these regulatory bodies. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.